Hi, my name is Matt, and I'm a registered Republican. I did not vote for President Obama in 2008 or 2012, and I did not vote for Hillary in 2016. But I will not vote for President Trump in 2020. President Trump has given us the biggest deficits in U.S. history and the biggest debt in U.S. history. And with 40 million filing for unemployment and over 100,000 dead, we need to navigate through this pandemic and create jobs to bring our economy back. But President Trump has actually been the worst jobs president in over 40 years. Despite what he tells you, just look at the numbers. President Jimmy Carter, a one-term president some 40 years ago, created about 9.8 million jobs. And President Trump, and to be fair, this is pre-COVID-19, created only about 4.7 million jobs some 5 million fewer than even President Jimmy Carter. President Trump has also made America weaker around the world. He has isolated our allies. He has ceded the Middle East to Russia and Iran, and he did not back up our troops in Syria, which is why General Mattis resigned. He's also not stood up to China, which is secretly creeping up in the South Pacific and into our backyard. One thing that really troubles me is the way that President Trump seems to praise dictators and even places trust in them. He said he loves Kim Jong-un of North Korea and MBS of Saudi Arabia. I mean, these guys are some of the biggest persecutors of Christians in the world. And MBS, he had a journalist's head chopped off. He had him cut up into pieces. And Trump did nothing, said nothing. He said he loved the guy. There is nothing more dangerous to a republic than placing trust in dictators. And look at the way that President Trump seemed to place trust in President Xi of China to handle coronavirus back in January and February. Just look at Trump's words, look at what he said, and look at what happened. Placing trust in President Xi was one of the greatest acts of presidential incompetence in history, and everyone knows it. The other thing that really bothers me is the way that President Trump seems to attack the Constitution almost every day. There are two very important words in the U.S. Constitution, free press. When you rip those two words out and replace them with the two words, fake news, you attack our Constitution and defame our founding fathers. Look, I don't agree with everything I see on MSNBC or CNN or everything I read in the Washington Post. But in a second Trump term with a Senate that will not hold him accountable and a president who does not take responsibility, I do not want to see journalists jailed just because I disagree with them. President Trump is pulling at the threads of our Constitution. He is undermining our most cherished values. I'm a Republican, and I am not voting for President Trump. Join me and all the other Republicans who are voting for Joe Biden. He's fighting for America, not for Trump. Thank you.